Once you have uploaded your attachments, if you'd like to actually track which users have viewed your attachments and run reports on that information, you can create a custom course from those attachments. To do this, just go to the Courses tab and click Add Course. This is just like you would with creating any custom online or offline course, except this time you'll select From Attachment. In this pop-up, you'll fill in the name of the course, the description of the course attachment, and the estimated duration, which is the amount of time you believe it will take for the learner to properly view this attachment. Since this is an attachment course and the learner will be viewing the attachment on his computer and not necessarily on our LMS, we cannot track the actual time it takes for the learner to complete the course. For instance, if you are uploading a PowerPoint presentation, the learner will open the document in PowerPoint and our system cannot track the amount of time that a document is open within another program. We know several of our clients rely on number of training hours for reports, so we allow you to enter an estimated amount of time in this field for reports. However, if this is not a valuable metric for you, you can choose to leave this blank. The last item you'll need to fill out is the attachment. Simply select the attachment from the list and then click Create. Once that is done, you will see the course listed in the courses list. Now you can assign this course manually or through auto assign. If you do not know how to assign courses, please view our video on how to assign a single assignment or assigning training via auto assign. I'll link both of those videos in the description below of this video. Once the course is assigned, the learner will go to the My Training page and they will see the course listed under the current training section. The difference between this course and an online course is instead of launching an e-learning module, it will launch this pop-up explaining what the course is and allowing them to download that content. Depending on the file type, the content will either open in a program on their computer or within their browser. They can then review the content at their own pace or even save to their computer for later use. Once they have viewed the document, they'll return to the pop-up and follow the on-screen instructions. The system will dynamically pull their name into the text here on the left. They'll type that in and click confirm the content was viewed. The assignment will then mark as complete for the learner and will be tracked in reports as well as supply a certificate for the learner to print.